I'm settling down, my text goes, you scream, you know better than that, I come around when you least expect me, I'm sitting at the bar when your class is empty, you thinking that the song's coming on and What's going on, Clan fam? Back at it again with some more, yes, NBA 2K22. We're going to do some My GM. Or a, a little mix of just everything. I figured, you know what, Pop Pop, that whole thing was kind of cheese. You know, we kind of used all those G League players and kind of uh, kind of cheesed the system. I don't want to do that. I want to do it legit. And I haven't played this game in six months. Going on seven months, really. So... I was like, you know what? Let's give it another shot. Why not? Let's try another my GM. Let's see how it goes. But Pop Pop is no longer with us. So we're gonna go with another old man. An old fogey. Is that are we allowed to say that? Is fogey a bad word? I don't think it is. An old geezer, an old timer. There he is. Old and McGee. Oh my god, that is an old ass man. It looks like he's already got one foot in the grave. Badges. Loose lips. This, no. Former GM, whatever. Wingman, nope. Recruiter, no. Snake, no. Economical, no. Promoter, no. Introvert, no. Bully, no. Financial advisor, no. Gambler, this dude definitely gambles. Passive, nope. Grizzled, 100%. Big three or bust, no. Tactician, yes. Put that at Hall of Fame. Coaching legend, never coached a day in his life. Former player, nope. Teacher, Hall of Fame. Clutch, Hall of Fame, Rejuvenator. Does that face look like he's rejuvenating anything? No, definitely not. Competitor, 100%. Shot Doctor, no. Guard Guru, nope. Uh, none of this. Mentor, definitely. I mean, when you live 130 years, you definitely gotta mentor some people. Short Leash, Mind Games, Zen Master, yes. Okay, Bloodhound, Sleuth, Dedicated, definitely. Careless, no. Domestic Scout, whatever. Spelunker, I don't even want to know what that means. Strength Trainer, none of that. Okay, we're good to go. We are going to add in a couple of expansion teams because I don't want to be with any of these teams. I don't like any of these teams other than the Bulls, but I don't want to be the Bulls. So we will add the Vancouver Kodiaks. I like that. Reminds me of the Vancouver Grizzlies. Let's do that. I love that. That is, whoever made that, shout out to you, Aeronautics101. That is an amazing, amazing design. Whoever made this, like I said, shout outs to uh, this person. Because this is awesome. The Kentucky Colonels, former ABA team. You know what? Let's bring him back. Screw it. Kentucky needs a team. Kentucky Colonels, welcome to the NBA. And we're going to put Vancouver with the Grizzlies. Actually, I think Vancouver is out. Isn't Vancouver over on the West Coast? Am I wrong on that? Let me check real quick. Yeah, Vancouver is on the West Coast, so we'll put them in the Pacific. Yeah, that's a tough conference, but I mean, what can you do? And we'll put Kentucky in the Central. We are going to be the Vancouver... I just realized their name... Whoever did this didn't even spell their name right. It's the Koidax. At least on the logo it's spelled correctly. That I guess that uh, has to count for something. So here are the protected players. I guess we can't view them all at once. So we'll go in here and see who all is protected, who's not protected. Let's see who we can get. Expansion draft. Let's do it. We got the first pick. Draymond Green and Clay Thompson are both available. Clay Thompson, 31 years old. You know what? I'm going to build. Right now, I'm just going to build the best team. If I if I want to get a draft pick or a decent draft pick, I will trade for that draft pick. So, Clay Thompson, welcome to the team. Who are the Colonels going to take? They take John Wall. They take Carmelo Anthony. What are they smoking? Where's Draymond Green? Was Dray Draymond Green was just... What? Okay, I didn't take Draymond. They didn't take Draymond. So, where's Draymond at? Am I... Okay. Uh, sure. Al Horford, welcome to the team. Where did Marcus Smart go? Marcus Smart was just... Oh my lord. Okay, this game's... This game's broken. I'm simming the draft. It's already broken. 
What is going on? Oh my god. All right, we'll load a draft class. What year are we in? We're in the 2021-22 season, so we need the 2022... Um, 2022 NBA draft. This has over a million downloads, so we're going to rock with this one. Let's take a look at our owner, Kendrick Price. Kendrick Price is the owner of the Vancouver Kodiaks. Kodiaks. He doesn't care what the media thinks or what the fans write in comment sections and likes to concentrate on his team, staff, and players. The team's immediate success is not a priority as long as the team is heading in the right direction long term. Okay. Importance of money, three stars. Level of involvement, three stars. Importance of franchise morale, three stars. Level of patience, three stars. Okay, that's good. How the hell do I change our name? So when you're making a team on 2K Share, make sure that you spell the team's name correctly. Let's take a look at the roster, because I really didn't even look. Clay Thompson, Al Horford, DeAnthony Melton, DeMar... Oh, God, DeMarcus Cousins. Who signed off on this? Who signed off on drafting this guy? He's always angry. He's always trying to... Bruce Brown, that's a good pickup. Sarich, okay. Trenton Wofford, Victor Oladipo, Kevin Herter, Mo Wagner, Jose Alvaro... Hey, okay, this team's halfway decent. Our power ranking doesn't say so. We're 23rd, but, I mean, this is a good team. Svitsilov. Oh, dude, I'm not even going to try. So the team is, the team's decent. Not great. It's decent. And our first game is against the Grizzlies. You can't write it any better than that. Front office, where's the staff? There it is, my staff. GM, Olden McGee, suggestion we could use a domestic scout. A physio would help with injury recovery, okay? Assistant GM, Dwayne Sharp, CFO, Ronnie Freeman. Don't know who those guys are. Milan Mack is getting Milan sacked? Oh, my God. Olden is definitely an old man. Look at him. I'm going to be honest, I don't think you have what it takes to be a head coach in this league. We're going to have to let you go. You ever think the problem might be the players you handpicked and not the coach? Never once thought that, ever. Even you asking me if I thought about it. I still have not thought about it. Alright, so we're going to go ahead here. I feel like I always hire Michael Stauffer and I always hire Jacob Underwood. So we're going to go in a different direction here. I'm going to hire Trent. Peterson to be the head coach of this team and there he is what a stud offensive coaching is almost five stars potential three stars organizing Every, I mean everything else is, is basically uh, the shits but we'll give him a shot Michael Odom shot doctor big man I mean these I'm not trying to be a dick here but these guys look exactly the same these are the same guy come on man scouting we could use a domestic scout. All right, let's get one. Darrell Mitchell. We got us a scout. A physio. All right, where do we get the physio at? Oliver Glover, there you go, buddy. You're the new physio. A foreign scout. Why don't we just hire everything? Quit giving me suggestions. Welcome to the team. I mean, I... Uh, I mean, I guess we got to hire all these guys, right? Might as well. I mean, the only problem is a lot of these guys just have terrible grades. So it's the, uh, I don't know if I'm really losing anything by not having a strength trainer or a stamina trainer. None of these guys are, are strength trainers. I don't see a strength trainer on here. And even if I did, they'd all be D's and F's. Meeting with the team doctor. Okay? Vancouver Kodiak's restaurant. We have our own restaurant, apparently. Hey, Eddie. I got something small to chat with you about. No problem. What's up? So it seems like some guys are working too hard in the gym and some guys not hard enough. Could we balance that out a bit? It's because we've already discussed their goals and plans. It's frustrating when you have a very superficial idea of what goes on and try to act like you know something. Sorry, Eddie. Damn. Dude went off. Level up. Kodiak's GM has leveled up. I, I don't know how. I didn't do anything. 
Change staff, I'm good. Change team training, no. Um, change mentor. I'm not messing with that. So I'm going to go ahead here. Take a look at the game plan. The Anthony Melton, Clay Thompson, Oladipo, Al Horford, DeMarcus Cousins. We're going to simulate to the trade deadline. Because this team right now, what I could really do... What are the tasks? Select a conversation to get a task. Okay. The CFO. I haven't seen too many empty seats in the arena. Let's get our attendance to be in the top in the league. First things first, Ronnie. We haven't played a game. So how the hell would you know if there's too many empty seats? Are you just saying that based off you walk into the arena when there's not a game going on and you see empty seats? That's usually how it goes, dude. The fans don't stay. They don't live here. If they did, we'd have a problem. I'm not making any promises to this dumbass. It's a little hard to beat some of the big market teams, but I'll do my best. Good, I'll be looking forward to the results. We really need to improve our wins and losses for this season. Limit our losses in the near future. Again, you want us to improve our wins and losses over what? We've never played a game. We're a new franchise, bro. Come on, man. Wake up, Ronnie. Where are you? Do you know where you are? Our strength of schedule is nuts coming up. I just don't know if we can do it. Your job here is to put together a winner, so I expect you to do that. Win. I know we're working on all kinds of things, but I think the guy's confidence will get a huge boost if we went on a three-game win streak. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, we can do that. I'll make sure the coaching staff emphasizes wins over development these next few games. That's great. I think it'll go a long way. Yeah, I hope you do, buddy. You prick. Okay, heading into the calendar. Let's do this thing. Let's simulate to the trade deadline. If anything happens, uh, I'll let you guys know. So we are officially horrendous. Power rank 29th. We are 18 and 37. Oof. Oof. Big oof. Mitch really wants to talk to us about something. I've got that report you wanted ready with all the newest info on the players we've been scouting. You want to see it? Yeah, sure. Jaden Ivey at the top of the list, as he should be, and Chet Holmgren. You know what? If we get these two guys, that'd be a damn good draft. He's a 79 overall and a 78 overall. I think that'd be big time. Let's try and, uh, let's try and make that happen. This is awesome. Thanks for all the hard work you put into this. Thanks. That means a lot to me. All right. Got any thoughts on which prospects we should scout next? That's all you, buddy. That's all you. I don't... Well, we got a trade offer from the Warriors. They want Clay? Hey there, Olden. We've got a trade here for you. Are you interested? By all means, young whippersnapper. Yep. There you go. Have him. Goodbye. Got that bastard off of our team. I don't even have Trade Finder. All right, we got to, uh... Where is Trade Finder on this thing? Again, why did they Why did they do this? Why did they? Why did 2K think that this was a good idea? I'm serious. Why did they think that this skill tree was a good idea? It, it's like they, they didn't even try, man. They did not even try with my GM. My GM was so good a couple years ago. God, it's been, geez, it's been what four years ago now that my GM was good. Sad. They had it all in the palm of their hands and they let it go because they were too lazy to develop something new every year. They were just so so focused on my team and people opening packs that they just stopped caring about this mode and it disgusts me. Absolutely disgusts me calendar i'm simming the season screw it but yeah i mean this game was so this game mode was so good it was so good the storylines it was just so funny and just craziness and now it's just not it's just a it's simulator simulation simulation simulator 2000 it's ridiculous I don't care about any of my goals right now. You're not going to fire me. You're a pansy. You're a pansy ass. 
I don't care, Ronnie Freeman. I don't. Luka wins the MVP. Kate Cunningham, Rookie of the Year. Jallo, Sixth Man of the Year. Giannis, Defensive Player of the Year. DeAnthony Melton, Most Improved. Okay. Shoutouts to you, DeAnthony. Steve Nash wins Coach of the Year. Yeah, right. Even he doesn't even believe it. Look at the, look at his face. He doesn't even believe it. Cody Tool, Executive of the Year. What a tool. First team, usual suspects. Second team, well, except for Anthony Davis, I guess. I guess he actually plays on 2K instead of wearing his business suit and sitting on the bench. Well, he doesn't even wear a business suit anymore. He just wears whatever the hell he wants. I don't see any Cody Axe on here, and those are the only real, true NBA players that I care about. We did have a Cody Axe on the all-rookie second team. Jose Alvarado. Thank you, my good sir. We did not make the playoffs. We would not make the G League playoffs with how we played this season. Talk about embarrassing. The Jazz win the NBA championship. Donovan Mitchell? Right. He's lit he's only six foot one. Is that true? Is that is that a true number? Is that a legit number? He's only six foot one. I am the same height as Donovan Mitchell. That is nuts. Player retirement. Finally, Udonis Haslam retires. He's been playing a long ass time. Andre Gudala, Lou Will, Rajon Rondo, Rudy Gay, JJ Redick retires so he can go and talk crap to Stephen A. Smith on first take. Okay. Staff retirements, Greg Popovich. <laughs> they did him dirty with his face game, man. League meetings. Decrease the shot clock to 20 seconds? I don't think so. Modify the goaltending rules such that once the ball hits the rim, any player can legally make a play on the ball? No. This is the NBA. This is not FIBA. Draft lottery. We gotta be in this, right? Yeah, we're number three right now. Just as long as we don't see our logo, I'm good. All right, things are about to get interesting here. Oh my, are you kidding me, dude? What a joke. This game's a joke. You know what? Screw it. We're going to give We're going to give Ben We're going to give Ben Simmons a chance. He's going to be our guy. There we go. Who else can we trade for? Let's get rid of DeAnthony Melton. Even though we could play him at the two. We're in trouble. I, I don't know where I'm going with this team. I really, really don't. This is... I mean, I could get a first round pick right there. Could get the Grizzlies first round pick. I just don't know where I'm going with this team. We'll take this pick. We'll get the 12 pick. And our pick, we're giving away a top three protected. We'll try the number one pick now. I'll throw in my second round pick. You bums! Say yes! Say yes to me. You can have all these second round picks. They're great. You can use all these second round picks to get second round talent. You scumbags. Alright, we'll throw one more first in there. All right, I'm moving on from y'all. I am moving on. We'll try the Mavs. And they agree. Awesome. I, I probably just gave up way too much for that pick. I think I did give up way too much for that pick. What am I doing? Man, I, I just don't know where to go. I really don't. I don't know where to go. Ooh, Cole Anthony. Interesting. We'll do that. Let's go to the draft. Hopefully, Jaden Ivey does not get picked first. Jabari probably would have been a better pick, honestly. I kind of didn't really think about him. Okay, Bancaro goes second. All right, well, they didn't take our guy anyways. We got 11 trade offers for this pick. No thank you. No thank you. Looks like a whole lot of nothing. Oh my goodness. We get old Shay Shay. Oh man, Shay's gonna be better than than Jaden Ivy, and we could probably get off of um, 
we could probably get off of Cole Anthony, honestly. Let's do it. Shea's a beast. For sure. Alright, who are they going to... They're probably going to take Jaden Ivey, though. Oh, they took Chet. Alright, so we have no draft picks. Holmgren is a 79 overall, so I probably should have drafted him. Fuck. Oh, well. It is what it is. Nothing we can do about it. We, uh... I think, I think we won. James Harden declines. Kyrie Irving declines. Bradley Beal declines. Kyrie Irving has no offers right now. I wonder why. Thanks for taking this meeting, Kyrie. I'll get right to it. We want to make you a member of the Vancouver Kodiaks. You're exactly what we need. Do you got your vaccination? Because you might need that to play in Canada. We have no money. Where is all of our money wrapped up in? Who's got our money? Oh my god, I didn't realize Shay's contract was that big. Oh my goodness. Well, I am going to go ahead and end the video here. I will do free agency in the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that notification bell. So you don't miss an update, a video, I don't know. I figured that's what the subscribe button. Basically, you'll be notified when I make a video. Olden McGee, next episode. Hopefully, we uh, we get an NBA championship. That is the goal. Probably not going to happen with this team because it is an absolute shit show right now. I have no direction. I don't know where I'm going with this team. Hopefully, I get it figured out in the next video. I will see you guys there, hopefully. And I will see you on another time. Peace. You fucking hurt.